Writer Tom Wolfe. Photo. Reuters Tom Wolfe, the white-suited wizard of new journalism who exuberantly chronicled American culture from the merry pranksters through the space race before turning his satiric wit to such novels as The Bonfire of the Vanities and A Man in Full, has aged 88. Wolfe's literary agent, Lynn Nesbitt, said he of an infection on Monday in a New York City hospital. An acolyte of French novelist Emile Zola and other authors of realistic fiction, the stylishly attired Wolf was an American maverick who insisted the only way to tell a great story was to go out and report it. Along with Gator Lees, Truman Capote and Nora Ephron, he helped demonstrate that journalism could offer the kinds of literary pleasure found in books. His hyperbolic work was a gleeful fusillade of exclamation marks, italics and improbable words. An ingenious phrase maker, he branded such terms as radical chic for rich liberals' fascination with revolutionaries, and the meat generation of self absorbed baby boomers of the 1970s. Wolf was both a literary upstart, sneering at the perceived stuffiness of the publishing establishment, and an old school gentleman who went to the best schools and, when attending promotional luncheons with fellow authors, would make a point of reading the latest work. He scorned the reluctance of American writers to confront social issues and warned that self-absorption and master's programs would kill the novel. He was astonished no author of his generation had written a sweeping 19th-century-style novel about contemporary New York City, and ended up writing one himself, The Bonfire of the Vanities. His work broke countless rules but was grounded in old-school journalism, in an obsessive attention to detail that began with his first reporting job. Nothing fuels the imagination more than real facts do, Wolf said in 1999. As the saying goes, you can't make this stuff up. Wolf's interests were vast, but his narratives had a common theme. Whether sending up the New York art world or hanging out with acid heads, Wolf presented man as a status-seeking animal, concerned above all about the opinion of one's peers. Wolf himself dressed for company, his trademark a pale three-piece suit, high shirt collar, two-tone shoes and a silk tie and he acknowledged he cared very much about his reputation. Wolf began his journalism career as a small-town reporter in 1957, but at WASNT until the mid-1960s, while a magazine writer for New York and Esquire, that his work made him a national trendsetter. As Wolf helped define it, the new journalism combined the impact of a novel, analysis of the best essays and factual foundation of hard reporting. He had many detractors, including fellow writers Norman Mailer and John Updike and the critic James Wood, who panned Wolf's big subjects, big people, and yards of flapping exaggeration. But his fans included millions of readers, literary critics and fellow authors. Irish Independent